hi everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm very happy to have you here on yet another episode of finance friday guys i know it's been a while but this is what i had coming for you it's going to be amazing today we are going to have a conversation as you can see it's a different setting i have a guest on set um and you guys have been asking so many questions about insurance policies education policies are they good investments how do i plan for my child's future etc and and we've been having a conversation with some people about you know are insurance policies actually good investments i've had quite a number of horror stories so i thought let me get someone who knows what they're doing who will tell us the truth who will not butter us up who's not interested in ripping us off to really tell us what we are dealing with when we talk about things to do with insurance okay so you might need a cup of coffee or your glass of wine for this one so i guess let's get straight into it Welcome to my family, to my online family, my YouTube channel. Mm. I'm very happy to have you here. Thank you, Susan, we've for really, having me. Karibu, oh, we've I really been meaning to I do know. this. It's been time. two years and time and life <laughs> and everything in between. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, Can we start with a bit of introduction? Um, I know you, but I know some of them don't know you. Yes. So tell us a bit about yourself and what you do. Okay, thank you, Susan. My name is Marianne Tyro, and I'm the founder and personal risk specialist of Larisk Africa. So what we do is help individuals, we help families, and we help businesses set up protection plans to ensure that even when turbulent times comes in your life, you do not have to start from scratch. Yeah, when you think about us, think of protection and it comes to your overall financial life yeah. yeah i love the word protection yes that is what drew me to yes. you because i remember those was a time i was very skeptical mm -hmm. about the whole protection aspect of financial mm -hmm. planning because it involves a word that is uh, insurance yes i know <laughs> um, well, but I know. you know but yes. the first time you you know you caught my attention mm -hmm. you said susan your insurance portfolio is what mm -hmm. will protect your investment portfolio exactly. and that made so much sense mm -hmm. yeah and uh I, I really felt it would be very important mm -hmm. for you to come on here mm -hmm. and and talk to us a little bit about this aspect of financial planning mm -hmm. that i feel is either very misunderstood yeah. But also very abused by some people who yes. tend to sell us the wrong product mm. um because i know insurance is very commission driven yes it is it is um but before we get into that mm. right yeah. you have a story yeah. han and yes. um i feel like your story and what you've been through yeah. brings a whole other mm. meaning yeah. to financial protection yeah it brings a whole other meaning to thinking about, okay, this money I'm working so hard for, yeah. all these savings I'm accumulating, all yeah. these investments I'm planning to build and grow. How do I ensure I'm protected when life happens? Because sometimes it's mm -hmm. not the economy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not, uh, you know, job loss. Mm -hmm. We have we have planned for all these things using emergency funds, etc. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's life. Yeah. It's a disability. Mm -hmm. It's an accident. Mm -hmm. It's death, mm -hmm. right? So... If you don't mind, yeah. let me put you on the yes, spot. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, tell us a bit about your story. Yeah, all a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm. and, and and why financial protection has become an integral part of how you think about finances. A few years ago, life was as normal. It was going really, really well. Um, I was married. I had a young family. And at that time, I was in a family dynamic where I was, I was a stay-at-home mother. My husband was the one who was providing for our household. Mm. And I was in charge of managing the home and taking care of the kids. And just, let's just say I was homemaking. I was a homemaker. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that was my <laughs> thing. I loved it. Sips my... <laughs> <laughs> then, as I said, life was moving great until one season one day where my life turned upside down i lost my husband he died unexpectedly and i was left with two children yeah 
two children i don't even know how to move forward because remember at that time i was not you know i was not at work he was the one who's providing the income and anything i was doing it was almost like a hobby not necessarily actually yeah you didn't have to to work so no. he he yeah. literally spearheaded the financial aspect of running the home exactly okay yeah. mm -hmm. and this is the thing we were also investors yeah because yeah. my husband and i were people who are you know we were very intentional about family about also growing our wealth so we did put our money here and there to doing growing our wealth we had an emergency fund we had um you know investments from bonds to we also invested in the mm. stock market mutual funds and then now this happens he dies how old were you 30 you were 30 yeah we know that 30 that was, that's yeah. a lot yeah it was it was it was horrible it was drastic it was traumatic yeah, yeah. And this is the one thing that, you know, um, really woke me up because at that time, as much as we did all these things, it was right smack in the middle of COVID. So nobody <laughs> is going to be buying your investments. There's that aspect. And then there's the aspect of these things have to go through succession. And we know the courts of Kenya, how they can be quite slow, yeah. especially when it comes to handling matter succession. Yeah. So... The, and the other thing, Susan, is I was also at hospital at that time because I was also really, really sick. And, um, oh my God, I think I got emotional. Yeah, that's um, okay. Yeah. So um, now I'm getting out of the hospital. I have two children. And now I literally have to start afresh in life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And at that yeah. time, you know, when you're going through such a traumatizing experience, you are on survival mode you do not have time to think of oh my god um how am i going to you know pay the rent because you know this is not something i was you're thinking you're grieving yeah. and then you've not been Indeed. doing paying bills no that you've been a baby girl yeah exactly yeah <laughs> yeah so the thing is that the one thing that really really came through for us at that time mm. you know early on in our marriage we were now when we were doing our financial planning mm. we got a life cover so we got a really really small one we were like okay let's just get something small now and then we're going to build yeah. on it later Kujaribu. Too, like uh, you know when people are planning their finances so we just got something small like okay let's just get this even as you're building our, our wealth let's get this one just for the time being when our family grows we're going to get something bigger yeah that is the thing that came through for us susan because yeah at that time you know um he has passed away and i said i cannot sell anything at that time because yeah. most of our assets are liquid and most of and them it's COVID to, time. And it's COVID time everyone is holding money exactly yeah and now or most of the things also have to go through succession so the life cover came in as cash mm. yeah so, how after yeah. how long did you get it, it sorry for yeah. uh yeah it took less than two weeks after your husband no, passed on. after i made a claim i didn't i had even forgotten that we had a life cover oh my goodness yeah because at that time you can't think you yeah nothing so i had forgotten about it i only remembered about it like a few weeks in then yeah I was like, oh my god we actually did take up a life cover mm. so let me just you know i the whole time i was actually praying that they paid out because you know sometimes as you said you hear these horror stories yes that some insurers don't pay out yeah so i um we started the claims process it was very fast within 10 to 14 days they paid out the claim mm. and i was able to at least at that time you know pay for the rent have money for food yeah. and we didn't drastically have to change our lifestyle and mm. also the one thing it did for me mm. was it gave me time to take a break and actually go through the grieving process yeah whether it's now talking to a therapist yeah or you know like actually just trying to start afresh and restructure my life yeah because i have met people who've been in my shoes the one thing that happens is when people pass away I'm telling you, Susan, it doesn't even take like the one month. People have forgotten about you. And there's yeah. the fact that people forget about you. And there's also the fact that everybody also has their own thing going on. No matter how much you love me, you will not be able to take care of me as my husband was able to take care of me. Me and my kids. Yeah, exactly. Me and my kids. Can you still maintain the lifestyle? Because most people are like, oh, you know, um, I have my people, I have my siblings, I have my friends. But your friends also have family, your siblings also have responsibilities. 
and then now you're left in the back burner because at that time people have different priorities the the whole the funeral is over the, the people have moved on with their lives you are left there with kids with nothing yeah. yeah so that the one thing i can thank god for is i still was able to live my life of dignity yeah even at that time i did sure. not have to go and beg yeah. yeah you're such a strong woman yeah. why why this story resonated yeah. with me i'm 29 right now one year younger yeah. than you were yeah. when this happened yeah. to you yeah. um and 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 when i heard you talk about this and you know you i i mean i see you on instagram yeah. guys if you don't already Ready follow mm -hmm. Lerisk Africa. I'm going to drop the link in the description box. You guys yeah. know this already, yeah? Please follow her because I remember the first time I came across your content. Yeah. I realize you're too damn passionate. Yeah. <laughs> you're yes. so passionate. You just yeah. keep telling Kenyan women, yeah. Kenyan men, when you're planning your finances, mm -hmm. think about the protection aspect mm -hmm. because there are things that are beyond our control yeah. Yeah. that, I mean, can happen yeah. anytime, anytime, right? And, 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 at this particular point, maybe mm. I, I want us to kind of I want you to kind of like help us. Mm. I'm, I'm I'm digging. Mm. Allow me. No, yeah, it's okay. You know, how long did you have with this money? Like yeah. in terms of like how long, you know, is it six months of comfort, mm. three months of comfort? Mm. At what point is this money now running out? And you're like, hmm, mm. I need to get yeah. myself together yeah. and so like how long of a, you know, how privileged yes. were, how long were you privileged to just yeah. be like let me relax. My rent yeah. is paid. I have a nanny for my children. Mm -hmm. I can afford a therapist. Yes. How long did that money at least give you? So it gave me just all, like about over a year yeah. to be able. So as I told you, usually when you look into a life cover, it should be able to replace your income because whatever we sure. had was not able to replace this income. We had taken something that was so small. Yeah. But the one thing is that at least it gave me almost one and a half to two years wow. um, to be able to now like run my household without having to think about um you know am i going to borrow money and do i have to like crush and liquidate whatever it is that we have yeah 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 is that how Leris africa was born talk to no. us about how you started now <laughs> so, helping yes. um yes. kenyan families and african yes. uh families yes. think start thinking about protection yes. as part of financial planning okay so actually how Leris africa is, was born was i had a client mm -hmm. um in when uh, in my former workplace in around 2017 i had a very good client who was 31 mm. and at that time he came to take insurance for his car so he had just gotten a really nice car and so his premiums i remember were like about 200 000. so you can tell it was a proper nice. proper car yeah and he had just started his business i remember at that time it was his law firm mm. and we were having a conversation and he was like oh i have a, a wife i yeah. got married not too long ago and i have a six month old baby so you know when people are new parents they're so excited like you know this is the place i want her to go to school this is you know the type of lifestyle i want them to live because he's like every month we try at least to go on a holiday yeah, yeah. so we finalized with his uh, motor cover then i told him okay based on our conversation it will be very important for you to have you know um a protection life a life insurance mm. and also a professional indemnity because you're starting a law firm so, yeah yeah more on that later mm. So this is the thing. We kept on now talking about it. We started the process to some extent. So the this we had decided on a day we we're actually going to meet and just finalize the whole thing. Yeah. So the day we we're supposed to meet, Susan, um, he says he was called for something urgent. I remember it was like Naivash out of town, um, a family thing. Then he's like, okay, um, we can meet on the next day. So he goes, and then I'm like, okay, the next day he reaches. That was like, listen, on a Thursday, we were to meet. I mean, we were to meet on that Thursday, but then he's like, okay, let's postpone to Friday. Yeah. So he traveled on Thursday just to come back the same day. Mm. And on Friday, I'm like, okay, let me call him because we're to meet today. So I'm trying to call him. His phone is off. I'm like, this is weird because if you're a business person, that phone better Your phone. be on. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know? know? So I called him. I'm like, okay, maybe his phone got stolen, something. I didn't think much about it. Mm. So later on, as the day went by that evening, um, now my then boss called me and he told me that this guy had passed away. He had an accident on his way back from now with, from yeah. Uganda, Russia. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, Suzanne, that thing devastated me. I was like, how? Yeah, I just yeah. spoke to him yesterday. I just spoke and to him And he's here planning for his family yes. and... You know exactly, and also yeah. at that time, his wife had stopped working because the child was very young, sure. So she was also fully dependent on this guy, yeah. So, Susan, at that time, I was like, Okay, 
I do not understand. This guy was actually about to finish up signing this thing. By the way, the, if it was a death by accident, even if you finalized everything today, you have your policy. And you die tomorrow. You die tomorrow they have to They'll pay. still pay yeah, out. They have to okay. pay out. Yeah. Yeah. So my whole time was like, oh my God, this is the guy I could not save. Oh wow! Yeah. Listen, the, yeah, that that it's... that was now the time I started thinking. I, I was still at my former workplace, but I was like, "How did he not know?" As in, he can get a car and pay two hundred thousand premiums for this car, yeah, and he's starting his own business, but somehow he does not even have any le level of life cover to protect, to protect his, wife, his wife and his, his children. Kids. My dear, like the that family went from here to here within a month because remember the wife was not working we were able to get the payout for the car yeah but it still has to go through succession because exactly. the car was under his name yeah so it means that the wife in as much as the check was out but the check was sure. under his name so it means the wife sure. will not access it yeah and then she could not pay rent she could not be able to take care of the kids even something as simple as health cover she could not True. even do it yeah so that was the time i was like okay why don't young families have a life cover because that guy was 30. Please repeat 30 that one. again. Why don't, Why don't young, young families, families yeah. protect the and, and yes. do you know what worries me? Yeah. Let me not even because I'm 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 in a young family. <laughs> yes. I don't have children yeah. yet. And so when someone talks about life cover mm -hmm. in my head, yeah, I'm like, but I don't have children yet. Yeah. In fact, to yes, be honest, because yes. I haven't started trying, yes. I don't even know that I can have children. Yes, yes. So when I'm planning for my finances, mm. this is not a priority mm. in my head. Yeah. So uh, talk to someone who's <laughs> where yes. I am. Yes. You don't have dependents, you don't have children. Mm. Um, or if you're a young family, mm. how does life insurance actually protect you? And while yeah. you're talking about that before you even... Mm. Why do so many people think life insurance is a scam? Mm. I'm I'm already sure someone watching me right now is like mm. Susan. Isn't it? You to let yeah. Leo insurance yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we've had people mm. have had horror stories. Yeah. Um, so I I want to 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 just understand mm. where is the place of life cover mm. and life insurance? Do they even work here in Kenya? Yeah. Are they worth it mm. here in Kenya? Mm -hmm. And how do I ensure I don't get scammed? Mm -hmm. So life insurance is worth it. I think the biggest problem is people have been confusing life insurance for an investment. So most people, the ones who feel scammed are the people who maybe took this thing up wanting to grow their money and their money did not grow as they expected. Or when they realize that this is not growing my money as expected and I want to come out, you can't get your money back or you can't get it to the level that you want. So most people yeah. don't, um, you know, they don't resonate with it because of the bad experiences. And the worst thing is maybe if you had an advisor or a salesperson. Your friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> good people and eh? some of us are good ones eh? so if you got someone who misguided you because this is the thing insurance is not as straightforward as people think it's it's not as simple so if you get an advisor who does not understand how insurance works yeah. that's how someone will sell that to you as an investment and then you feel cheated and then that's when you're like, oh, you know what, in this thing, it does not work but the moment you put everything in its own box, you know, you, you know what I'm investing, I'm putting this money in an actual bond or a stock market or in, you know, unit trust yeah. because I want it to grow and I right. know what the KPIs for, you know, an investment is. I'm looking at the overall return of investment. Mm. Yeah. When you put that in that box and you remember insurance is meant to now, in, you know, like take you back to where it is that you are to protect you, to make sure that your family does not go through, a, you know, like a financial disaster in the case, you know, of a death, of a disability, of, you know, someone being incapacitated yeah. and a critical illness. Mm. If you are able to know that that's what insurance was ideally meant to do and you put it in its own box. Things yeah. will just be simple. Because this is the analogy I usually use. Yeah, Susan? Mm. The thing is that when you go to a carpenter to make this, you know, like mm. you want something to be made, mm. you know, and you're like, okay, I want, you know, a chair or a table or whatever it is. Mm. So there's a saw which is meant to cut. There's a hammer which is meant to, you know, drive the nails sure. inside. Yeah. So would you be comfortable if you're given something that is a saw, but it's also a, a hammer, like it's doing two in one? The chances are it might not be a very good saw or a it very might not good be hammer. effective. It might not be effective because some people yeah. choose convenience mm. over functionality. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, okay, no, I'm getting two in one, 
but sometimes not the two in one is not good in either way you get mediocre of either sure. yeah but now if you're able to remember what is a life uh, is insurance meant to do what is an investment meant to do and then you now build your financial portfolio knowing that this one is for my protection and this one is this for one is growing for my, my money exactly yeah. so you optimize both and i think yeah that i i, I struggle to explain that to my clients mm -hmm who have endowment policies, for mm. instance, and someone mm. is telling me, no, I get bonuses mm. and I get payouts, but this yes. also comes with a life cover. Yes. Or someone who has like an education plan, yes. and they tell me, no, this is an investment for my my child's education, mm. but it also comes mm. with a cover, yeah. right? But then when we calculate mm. the return on that investment, mm. a simple money market fund mm. that has 8%, yes. 9%, still gives them more money mm. than this mm. education policy mm. it does i mean it barely compensates mm. this person for inflation mm. so i think when i spoke to you mm. you clarified that mm. for me you told me susan investments are meant to grow mm. you and multiply your money yes. and therefore the return there yeah. is growth and mm. multiplication it's wealth exactly but the return on insurance is not growth or multiplication mm. it's protection yes so i'm buying yeah. protection. protection yes so i shouldn't then expect that oh it's now protection mm. and then my money has also grown <laughs> beyond yes inflation rates exactly. yeah um let me ask you mm. When, when we are talking about life insurance mm. and protection, because yes. th that's what we are doing here, financial planning and protection. Yes. Now you're a single mom, mm -hmm. you have two kids. Yes. What's your protection plan? Please yes. give, us, <laughs> give us the cheat code, because I yes. think that's important. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I would want to know, if, mm. if, if I'm trying to, let's get to the solutions, right? Yes. If I'm trying to protect my young family, yes. Um, and I'm a single mom like you, mm -hmm. and I need to think long term. Yeah. What's the cheat code? Yes. How do I ensure that my money is working for me yes. and I'm protecting my young family? Or I'm protecting, even if it's not a young family, just protecting my, my family. Mm -hmm. And because I don't want us to talk about other people, mm -hmm. you're here. Yes. So exactly. what's your strategy? Okay, so when it comes to protection, because right now I'm the sole provider of my kids, so they fully depend on me. I cannot play games with their lives so that uh, the, my protection portfolio has to be rock solid yeah so the first thing one thing i have is i have my emergency fund yeah so tell them i keep yeah. telling them please i sound like a broken <laughs> record on this channel emergency fund, I don't put it in a, actually it's part of a protection portfolio because at least i know even if you know um anything was to happen i have to have like i have to travel unexpectedly or in the case my income was not as i expected my i can still afford my rent mm. i can still buy food for my kids i can even pay you know like different bills here and there mm. without having to change my kids lifestyle yeah. so i've built my emergency fund to at least one year worth of now my expenses, living expenses, my living expenses because yeah. that one that one was a no-brainer mm -hmm. so number one emergency fund so especially now when you i'm a since i'm a single parent with now the two kids i make sure that at least for you make sure it's like six to six months to a year because mm. i have children even by myself maybe three to six months yeah but now when you have a family it's important to build as high as you can yeah mm -hmm. secondly i have a health cover yeah hmm. because you know children they just get random flus they can just get anything from school bacteria i don't know sometimes yeah. they just come with different things yeah so it's I, so I, weird yeah. it's almost like every time we are on call with yes. you when yeah. you're home yes. you have a flu because yes. your children <laughs> your I children always pick. bring you flus from school i don't know why they're picking from those schools it's like every two weeks i'm just yeah. like why yeah. anyway yeah. yeah so i help cover to me is super super important mm. so I maximize on my inpatient because when you're picking any insurance, pick something that, you know, like a protection that, I mean, you look at a risk which can actually drastically affect your net worth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The reason why an emergency fund is not enough yeah. is because, you know, like things like medical can go like really. We are, debil talking, we are talking millions. They can go millions and yeah. I cannot put those millions in, a, in my emergency fund. It's mm. not making sense. So with insurance, remember, I'm sharing this risk with so many other people. Sure. Yeah. So it's an affordable way of planning, you know, your medical planning. Mm. So with that one, I really, really prioritize on my inpatient because I know yeah. that's the part that can actually eat up my, my funds. Yeah. And you really helped me with 
that yes. because um, I've, I've shared on this channel before that I'm self-employed. We are yes, both self-employed. Self yeah. So we don't have <laughs> employer no, benefits. We have to build our own benefits, girl. <laughs> we are the employer. Yeah, the employer. <laughs> um, and and, yeah. and I think the first time I got like a medical yeah. cover quotation, I panicked. Because yeah. I was like, who is supposed to afford yes. this? Yeah. So when I started talking to you and you explained to me, mm -hmm. inpatient, outpatient. Yes. Outpatient is what I get for day-to-day -day flus, mm -hmm. uh, tummy ache, etc. Exactly. And I realized that's the one that's expensive yes. Yes. because yes. the possibility of me using it yes. is, is very high. Is very high. Yes. And then there's inpatient, yes. which is affordable. Yes, so affordable. Yeah. And I even remember you sending me yes. quotations for 29,000, yes, exactly. 30,000 yes. per year. Yes. And it started now making yes. sense. Yes. And, and that thing really just helped me yes. to be able to now know a way forward because yes. I was like, what could, yes. the, what could bankrupt me? Is yes. it inpatient yeah. mm, or a, outpatient? Yeah, outpatient. You know, Susan, if you were to ask me for 3K, I can send you 3K. Right? If you were to ask me for 500,000. Exactly. Like, Girl. And now that's admission. And that's yeah. admission. So and you remember good. in these Kenyan hospitals, if you don't have like 150K, who is going to admit you? I couldn't have to I couldn't have to. What I've watched at Yeah, I've seen that on, yeah. on Twitter, on the news. Yes. Like if you don't have money, you, yeah. you can't get admitted. Exactly. So even when it comes to my medical planning, I'm like, I'd rather sacrifice maybe that 100, 100 and something thousand every year yeah. compared to an unforeseen 5 million. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. that's something I actually plan towards. Sure. And I put it aside. I, it's not like I want to use it, but I'm just like, just in case, it's like my safety net. Yeah. So I can even walk with my head high knowing that no matter what, I do not have to now sure. go back to my investments so mm -hmm. that they can continue doing what they're doing. Yeah, because when I remove my investments before time, it wouldn't have grown to the extent that I want it to grow. So when it comes to medical planning, it's so important. So most people, they look down upon inpatient, but in as much as it may be low frequency, but it's high impact. So in short, things Oof. which may, might be low frequency, but high impact. Very if it just happen today, it can bankrupt you. You told me one day yeah. that most Kenyan families are yeah. one illness away from mm. bankruptcy. Yeah. Exactly. Just one. Just one illness. So you said yeah. protection plan. For you yeah. as a single yeah, mom, so one, emergency one, fund, medical. a good medical cover, yes. and if you don't have a lot of money, just so do inpatient. inpatient. Just do inpatient. What exactly. else are you doing? Number three, I have a life cover. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. Because with a life insurance, yeah. as I said, I am now providing for my kids. Mm -hmm. There's nobody else providing for my kids. My parents are retired, and my friends also have it. They also have their own families. They have their own thing going on. So I have a life cover so that they have something that can replace my income in mm. the case I was absent. Yeah. Because we all know life happens. Nobody yeah. ever expects that they're going to die young or they're going to die at whichever age they're going to die. But it's always important to actually have a plan because the plan is the constant. What happens in your life, you might not be very, you know, sure. You can, you know, eat healthy, do yoga, exercise, but life can be just life, yeah? yeah. So life cover for me is now to ensure that no matter what happens at least my kids still have some an amount of money where they can continue living the lifestyle that i'm I, i've you know they're used to right mm, now mm. so it means that with a life cover it has additional benefits like critical illness protection yeah. and you know accidental disability protection so mm. it, with critical, what are those please talk yeah. to us like uh, yes. we don't understand okay. so number one life insurance <laughs> is to replace your economic value if yeah. you're not here today that amount of money comes in to take care of the bills so let me ask you yeah sorry yes is life a life cover for me or for my dependents ah that's right just you just know it's for your dependents it's for your dependents so it's paid when i die yeah like the Bruh. life aspect i know <laughs> that's why most i know most kenyans are not so much yeah they're just like z yeah, like this nataka yeah, pesa inani saidia sahi yes. you mona economy exactly so you're you're near yeah, your dependents okay. Yeah, in, okay to replace your income that is ideally there's different types of life covers we'll talk about it later and how yeah. you can use it mm. but ideally it's meant to replace your economic value all yeah. the income you could have made in the future yeah, yeah? so the, the best especially if you have people depending exactly. on you and dependence is not just kids it could be your parents nephews nieces a business anything that depends you on your income is mm -hmm. a dependent yeah, yeah? And then, as I said, there's critical illness protection. That's an additional protection so that now you can also use your life cover when you're still alive. So in the case of a critical illness, you're going to be paid out maybe part of the money that mm. um, is of the life cover. Define critical illness. So critical illness is, a, you remember like life cover is a lump sum that's paid to your your beneficiaries in the case you pass away. Yeah. So critical, the critical illness cover 
the lump sum is paid to you now in the case of a critical illness. So critical illnesses are those ones which can actually bankrupt you. The things like cancer, stroke, oh, those yeah. which you have to be in like hospital now, for an extended yeah, period or I'm at home. Oh yeah, exactly. Because remember, when one gets a critical illness, whether it's a cancer, a stroke, a, um, you know, coma, yeah. they are in, maybe in hospital for an extended period of time. And depending on you know your contract at work or you know if you're self-employed, you might not be able to actually provide an income at that time you can't work because what are you going to think of focusing on getting better because nowadays by the way the chances of you getting better is very high because yeah, of better care of, yeah very good care and advance in the medical field mm. but then the thing is that you do not want to be in survival mode while you're here you're trying, unwell. You're unwell and then yes what is it with corporates yes As I, and, and it's savage i get mm -hmm. it yeah but it's savage mm. when i get unwell mm. and i'm in hospital maybe the mm. first two months it's mm. okay they can keep me on yeah. payroll yeah three months yeah four by the time it's the sixth yeah. month yeah you're not on payroll yeah. anymore. But remember, it's a business. Even we have a business. You know, like at the end of the day, this has now is becoming an expense, and it's not giving you anything coming. <laughs> in. So, so, who, 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 if you don't panga yourself, your employees, are, your, employees are, you are, you are employed for a reason. It's not just <laughs> that. It's not a charity. If you're being yeah. employed at a job, it's because you're supposed to do something for them to be able to in return to the return salary. To the so salary. we can't just keep paying no. you when you're not working. Yeah, exactly. That's why even when you have work benefits. It's, you have to first of all make sure that you know okay you understand how it works and if they're not enough you have to to like supplement, supplement. because i mean your employer can wake up one day and be like you know what you've closed shop or you're not needed anymore bye bye yeah. you know so you always have to make sure that your protection is okay no matter what so yeah. critical illness pays out that lump sum and at least you can have a replacement of income and part of the money can also be used you know for you to now like take care of the illness because medical you have a nurse at yes. home yes exactly. if you need to you know there are things that medical cover yes actually yes. doesn't yes. because medical will cover treatment yes you cover treatment you pay the hospital pay, pay the doctors but maybe at that point now with the illness that you have you have to travel outside the country and most of the covers in the country the jurisdiction is kenya yeah so that's why like you can see people who have medical cover and they get a serious illness that still rest, it, it gets depleted because even remember Very with fast. medical, there's sublimits within your medical cover. So you finished everything. Now we need to now do like a mchango or a harambe because yeah. at that point now you've depleted your medical cover and then now there's still more that still, is needed. There's more that is needed. So at that point, at least the you know like the critical illness cover can come in. Mm. You're you're the one who gets the cash, so you can even choose to you, go out. Oh, you decide what yeah. to do you with decide, the money. Yeah, the insurance is not oh, it's not like medical. No, you know, no, medical no, no. they don't give you the money; no, they no, treat yeah. you. Yes. Oh wow, that's amazing. So what you have is a life cover yeah. that comes with disability yeah. in case you're on a wheelchair, yes. you can no longer work, yeah. and critical illness yes. for your cancers, yes. ETC. Exactly. Right. So now and then that's number that was number three, mm. no protection plan. Mm. Number four, um, I have a module list. I have a wheel. Can you preach that gospel? <laughs> Girl, I'm not about to play with my kids' lives. I told you. I'm yeah. by myself and I saw what happened because as I mentioned, I was in hospital, and yeah. the thing is that the doctors also never thought I was going to make it. Yeah. yeah. So after that, later on, when I was back to my senses, I was like, if both me and my husband were not there, who would have taken care of our kids? Because we had not even like written down who's going to be guardian, who will be taking care of everything on behalf of our kids. Where so is our money? Yeah. Who, who are we leaving this money yes, to exactly. and who is going to be taking care of our yes, assets and our exactly. children yeah it means because of that the courts would have had to decide but Marian, yes. Marian on a joy, this conversation mm. i i believe our target market we have a lot of kenyans yes. but i do know we also have mm. people from africa and mm. everywhere else watching us yeah. but one thing i know about kenyans mm. if you want to spook them is to talk about wills. talk about wills even mm. our parents yeah. sometimes in their age yeah. the moment you even ask your mom or your dad <laughs> i know I do, you, <laughs> do you have a will they're like hey, Michelle, oh, you, Michelle, I'm I'm yeah. <laughs> you see i think it's a cultural thing yeah. because most people think that when you're writing a will it's like you're calling death you're but planning to you're, die you're planning already to die. but look at how many people who've died without wills how many people have died sure. without life insurance you see did, but what did, if did, Marianne, did, yeah, you yeah. know i'm thinking Look at us. We are we are still very young women. Yeah. We don't have. We are not millionaires. Okay, yeah. we may. I don't know. No, you no, may be. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> Someone told me, stop saying people yeah. don't have money. Exactly. You're the only one. <laughs> so let's even yeah. assume, fine, we have our Kidogo millions, right? Or a yeah. hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Like, let's assume, I'm just starting, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have so much. I'm just thinking yeah. I have uh, everything combined, maybe I just have 500,000 yeah. Kenya shillings. Yeah. Or I have 800,000 Kenya shillings and a mm-hmm. piece of land somewhere. Mm-hmm. In my head, I don't think that these are things worth mm-hmm. putting in a wheel mm-hmm. or because why, yeah? Yeah. yeah? So please, how, I mean, and then also the aspect of yeah. wheels are expensive. Yes. Maybe I'll spend that entire 800,000 mm. getting a wheel yes. done. Yes. So give us like a price range. Yeah. If I just want a very simple wheel, yeah. I'm saying me, my peanuts mm. are yeah. 20,000. Yeah. And yeah. if I die, I want this yeah. 20,000 to buy yeah. a uniform for so yes. and so yes. ETC. Yes. How is it or difficult yeah. is it to actually do a wheel? Okay, a wheel um, can, from now my experience, can range anywhere from like even 20, 30k to even 100,000. Yeah, and remember depending. some rooms are a bit more intensive because especially when people have like a lot of assets yeah so it has to be structured correctly uh-huh. so if someone as long as you have any assets you have your money markets mm. you have bank accounts yeah yeah you have that land that you're talking about mm. the most important one of the most important thing things about the will is actually to list the, these things down yeah. because as i told you for me we had not written anything that we have like we had assets that we also bought maybe together in my husband but we didn't write it down so number one nobody would have known we had a life cover it also had one yeah and for those people who are like oh if you have a life cover you will die i have a life cover and i survived yeah so yeah. um so you put down that i have a life cover i have a money market here I have, you know, my bank accounts there. Because now, at that time, now people are starting to wonder, where are your things? You know, I have my pen, And then the people, pension. pension, the people who don't even move their pensions when they move from an employer. Now, you, you're making your family now have to start to look for it. For Just, seven different employers. Yeah. And some of them shut down. Exactly. Yeah. So, it's very, very important yeah. to now put your finances in order more than anything. Remember, even financial conversations are actually life conversations. Yeah. Mm. So, I will, just, if you have anybody who depends on your money, mm. please just pull it. And for me, the reason why I'm put, I have a will, you know what, Susan, it's not because it's here, I'm like, oh my God, what if I die? Actually, that is not my biggest reason. I'm like, you know what, with how it is that I see it is, I do not want the government of Kenya mm-hmm. to decide my things for me. That's yeah. my biggest, as in, I'm the one who's working so hard. Yeah, it tend to up like unclaimed yeah. assets. Exa- exactly. Yeah. So I'm working hard. I have my kids. I know my kids. Yeah. yeah? I, I know the things that I have. And then just because I'm scared of something which is actually an eventuality, I don't right. put these things down. As I said, it's a cultural thing. We don't. We just generally don't talk about death. We don't talk about money. Yeah. So now you can imagine how we are talking about a combination of both. So it's not a very comfortable conversation. conversation. But it's a conversation we need to have because we've seen by not planning how things can just go down very, very fast. Yeah. Yeah. Because the difference between two families could be just that someone had a plan. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. The plan does not either save you. Okay. It's, it is, life is, it is what it is. Yeah. Sure. So you just, it's just important to have this thing to be at peace of mind, knowing that, you know, no matter what, me, I know how my things, I want them to go. Yeah. You understand? So mm. that is, I will. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually I want to get, to get a trust. We'll you talk keep talking about, about that. Yeah, I mean, eventually. so just to get you straight, yeah. guys, this yeah. is what I'm hearing. Okay. Protection plan, an mm. emergency fund, yeah. because anything could happen to your source of income and you want at least to have money that can last you three to six months, even six to 12 months, right? The second thing, a good medical cover mm. to ensure that you're not bankrupted by one illness. The third thing I'm hearing <laughs> is uh, a, a life cover. And I want us to just get into that a little bit, yeah? Mm. A, a, um, a life cover that mm. preferably has like disability Criti- yeah, and critical, critical yeah. illness. Living benefits over life cover. Those are the Yeah, the living benefits. benefits. And the fourth thing, write a will. And I learned this with her, like mm. Mwanan Shimdogo, mm. just Pleasure. like me. <laughs> as long as you have something, it could cost you anything between 25,000 yeah, yeah. upwards. So um, if yeah. it's, I mean, if, if it's something that you can save towards, if you yeah. have assets and you don't want your family or the government yeah. to be deciding mm. what you had and where you had and money will go, that's like, that's an amazing protection yeah. plan. Yes. Now, when, yes. when you converted me, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, yeah. I was hearing life insurance and in my yes. head, I thought it was so, so expensive. Yeah. Then you sent me a quotation yes. <laughs> that required me to only pay 5,000 yes. every uh, mm-hmm. month mm-hmm. and I was getting a 10 million mm. cover. cover. Yes. And in my head I was like, yeah. hmm, 
Because no, no. one of the yes. things I want us to like, the myths mm. I want us to debunk mm. is that life insurance is actually expensive. No. It yeah. is for the rich, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Because in my head, I was just like, so I'll just be paying five Gs. And if at all, even if I start paying five Gs today mm -hmm. and I die next week, mm -hmm. whoever is dependent on me yeah. will can actually claim uh, the, mm -hmm. the cover, the 10 yeah. million. Yeah. I'm thinking if I had a child, that would go towards yes. their education yes. all the way to campus. Mm -hmm. If I had bills or whatever that needed to be paid yeah. that would cover that mm -hmm. talk to us maybe as we wrap up my yes. god we've been here I know. almost an hour yeah. right yeah anyone who's watching us today i know they've had endowments mm -hmm. and they've had life cover etc yeah. please advise us yeah. if i'm really really interested mm -hmm. in getting in this uh, protection bandwagon yes. I've been saving, saving. Yeah. I have a couple of um, mm -hmm. investments, and now I'm 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 listening, yeah. and I'm like, yo, listen. Actually, yes. everything I have. Yes. Yes. If today I die, yeah. there's really no protection yes. around that. Yes. How do we go about? So maybe just in the next five minutes, yes. right? Yes. How do we go about choosing life covers? Mm -hmm. What are some of the options we have? Yes. And because we have a professional here, we yes. don't want to guess. So <laughs> yes. we also want your recommendations. Yeah. Okay of what you would recommend okay yeah so there's different types of life covers so let's start with the basic the vanilla of all life covers there's what we call term life yeah so term life is a protection uh, product which will covers you for only a specific term so yeah. you're like this is how we usually look at a term you're like okay i have a child who's three years and um suspect like if everything goes well they should be out of my house at least by 25 they should be they better they better be out so i'm <laughs> like you know what i need to protect these kids for the next 25 years mm. only yeah mm. and maybe at that time i'm not planning to have any more kids so mm. i look at my last born my last born is maybe two i'm like i want to protect them for the next seven years i mean 25 years because i know by that time they should be out of my house already and pretty, done with uni and down with uni already mm. pretty independent yeah mm. so with a with a term life cover as i said it's a very basic cover mm. so it only pays out if the whatever it is that uh, happens whether it's a death a critical illness or a disability happens within the term. So if I've picked a 25 year term, mm -hmm. if a death happens in year 10, in year 5, in year 3, in year 22, they get the they money. Have to, they'll get the money. Whether it's a death, disability, or um, you know, critical, critical illness, illness, depending on what are the limits. Lim uh, yeah, the limits and whatever it is that you've chosen, because these are additional benefits. So you can choose to have it or not. Mm -hmm. So if it happens, you will be paid. If it does not happen, and you've reached year 25, you are alive and you're good, there's no payout. How come your Kenyans are attacking Apple to scare, ma'am? Because now continue. the question is, Miriam, no, make it make sense to us because yes. this is a very oh. legitimate concern. Yes. I've paid a cover for 20 years, 5,000 or 10,000 yes. every um, month, month yes. for 20 years. Mm. In my head, I'm making an investment. So why is it yeah. that once I die now, yeah. this money is not paid yes. to me if I yes. take t time, yeah. yes. the, the period has lapsed. And mm. I think that's very difficult yes, for, people for people to, to understand. understand. Yes. So what are the cons okay. of, of yes. this particular? Okay. Why would I do that? Yeah. Why? So I, I always just, I ask people, Susan, you have, you're living in this house, right? right? If you have a security guard and you've been living this house for 15 years and you didn't even have one break in, you didn't even have a break in, anybody, they, they, you've been okay, you've been, yeah, peaceful. you've been peaceful, nobody broke into your house, nobody stole anything. Was that guard useless? Now we need to let you go because there are no thugs yeah. here. Yeah, I'm a you can even nilikulipa for the last fifteen years. Why were you even here? So think of term insurance or as like a security guard for your home or I mean for wow. your money for that period of time. Look at it. A good example of a term insurance is mortgage. Why would you need to continue paying for mortgage when the mortgage has already finished being paid? Yeah. So you're like, okay, I have a mortgage for the next 20 years. So usually there's a mortgage protection. That is usually a term life. Mm. For that specific number of years that you actually have the mortgage. Yeah. You only need protection for that period of time. Sure. So after that, was the mortgage insurance useless? No. Or oh, oh, why would... Yes. I, I'm starting to get you yes, now. You it's like so it's the term yes. is protecting my children. Like for that period, they go yes. When they are vulnerable. Yeah, when they, when they are... Yes. They need money for high school... Yeah. Yes. money for uni but when they're 25 and employed yes. or even if you're not employed we are surviving yeah. Yeah. um they don't need yes. their mom or yes. their dad to no. protect yeah them. remember this right now susan me and, and you are in the what we call the wealth accumulation stage yeah and as i said even for me with my kids if 
I'm in the wealth accumulation stage and something happens to me in year five. Yeah. Be between year five and the next 20 years, where are my children going to get money from? Because my wealth accumulation stage has stopped with when I've stopped. Because when you're dead, where's the income? You've gone with your ab ability yeah. to provide that income. So that's why you have to have the protection so that in the case you're not there, all that income you could have made is now here to be replaced. You mm. understand? So term is usually the cheapest. So the pro is that it's very, very affordable. Yeah, that's yeah. the one you're exactly. sending me. Five thousand and yeah. then I get like twelve million, yeah, exactly. thirteen million. Yeah. 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 Term is the most affordable. So the con is, yeah. So you remember you've picked this thing for only twenty years. Mm. Let's say for example now you wanted maybe you got an oops baby in year thirteen. <laughs> so it means by the time those twenty five years are over, your this other child is still still needs protection. Mm. But then now after year twenty five, it means you have to take another cover. Mm. And that remember right now if we are um you know, I'm 33 now plus 25. I'll be. That's a lot. That's going to be so expensive. It will be so expensive. It does not make any sense. Yeah. So you have to be very clear that when I'm picking this cover, I actually know that the protection that is just needed for this time. Yeah. And will, there'll be no need for protection after that. Mm. Yeah. I love that because yeah. you're actually clarifying something about age that I always wondered. Mm. I, I realized that even when you are sending one for an older person, yeah. they, they still mm. contribute 5,000, but the but payout, the payout is, is lesser yeah. than a younger person. Yeah. So if you guys are young and you have like a young family, the best time to take life protection is now when you're younger because yeah. it will be cheaper yeah, very cheap. than when you're older yeah, and it's not going to get any cheaper and it's never actually. going to get as cheap as you will get it today, today. i, I, I yeah. hear you so that's time life mm. then there's what we call whole life yeah, yeah. let's talk about people should stop looking at the whole life they've seen america's do the cash value and all that let's just talk about the ones which are here locally in Kenya. yeah so we have whole life that means that it's a permanent life insurance yeah that means that it, there's a definite payout because we're all gonna die one day so most people now, like the permanent life insurance can be used for protection purposes in the short term, mm. but in the long term for inheritance purposes. What yeah. do I mean? Because like right now, still I still have the same kids who are mm. like two and three. Yeah. Mm. So it means that if anything was to happen to me, I'm like, okay, I want to pay this premium for like let's say the next twenty years. Mm. But at the end of the day, this pre this cover is still long, going to last forever. So I'm just yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah. For these 20 years, even if things to happen to me within these 20 years when my kids are vulnerable, they're still going they're to be protected. They're yeah. protected. But after year 20 and, you know, my kids now are out of the house, mm. I stop paying for these premiums, but the life aspect is still ongoing until whenever you pass away. I love that. So yeah. I pay for 20 years. Mm. If it is, okay, let mm. me just get this. Yes. If it is a term, mm. I pay for 20 years. Yeah. After the 20 years mm. are over, okay, mm. the payout in the term is definitely, definitely. much higher. Yes, yes. But if once the 20 years lapse, That's the cool. cover goes away. It's yes. like how I pay for car insurance. Yes, exactly. But if, if my car doesn't yes. get an accident, God, let us not get no, accidents. No, no, not. Um, mm. If my car doesn't get an accident, mm. I, don't, I, I don't go to ICA and be like, give no, me my money no, back. No, 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 it no, it no. goes. And it interestingly, goes. Yes. I will still yes, pay. Exactly. The next <laughs> you are told yeah. to be back yeah, as yeah. <laughs> I'll still yes, pay because yes. I don't want to imagine a yes. six hundred thousand bill because yes. someone yeah. hit me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I, I and I get that. But then now for whole life cover, yes, yes. I would still pay for the twenty years. Yes. Yeah. Um. Within these twenty years, if anything happens mm -hmm. to me, my dependents will still receive the yes. payout. However, because it's whole, yes. After twenty years, I stop paying. Yes. Is that what you yes. mean? Yes. Yes. But then if I die later, then later even at seventy, on, eighty, on now yeah. my dependents will still get, get it. it. Yeah. So however, the payout. Yes. is usually slightly Less than lower than, than the what would term, have been the term, than exactly. the term life cover. Yeah. So okay. usually people um, use that because I, I told you I used to work for a and acquisition so I used to work with a lot of high net worth. They used to buy these things like chewing gum, I'm telling you because oh, like, yeah, they used to yeah. buy it a lot because they know it's a for sure payout mm. and they look, they used to look at things as not as mere as an individual because most of us are like Miss it apart, I it too. for them are like this is for my family they look at, you know, you have your own individual goals, but the moment you're in a family, you also have to have family goals. So, you know, yeah. this amount of money at the end of the day is going to come in handy for your people. Because I always say, if right now my grandmother had left me a couple of millions, yeah. you know, maybe my, I would have known where to put it into my business. Mm. So people used to like get those whole life covers and then they're like, okay, when I'm not there anymore, this amount of money can go towards an education sure. fund and my kids are going to study in perpetuity or Listen. like an entrepreneur. 
entrepreneurship <laughs> fund. So there's just the way you can structure it in a yeah. way that makes sense in the long term. And the beauty about life cover as a way of sort of inherit inheritance planning mm. is it that it doesn't go through succession. You know, succession, as I told you, it just depends on the moods of the courts. This country, I'm telling you, go and help us, yeah? So it depends on the moods of the courts. So with life cover, as long as it's you've been immediate. written as a beneficiary. Exactly. I have the death certificate. Yes, you I'm a beneficiary. Form, yeah. It's immediate. Exactly. And you can't even go and mm. now... Um, and um, protest against it. Like, you can't go and like, contest. contest it. Which is why we yeah. need to have wills. Because imagine having all this, yeah. and no one knows I have life. Yes. My children have been moved from one yeah. relative to another. Imagine, uh, and their mother or their dad yes. had um, life. Yes. You know? Exactly. And, and, and I think one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm just hearing you say mm. is that now, when you're starting to think long term, mm. I think that's what I'm hearing. Yes. Protection is not now. Mm -hmm. It's not all oh, economy in buyer. Yeah. Nini, nini. It is long term. Yes, it's long. And now because of this, Marian, yes. me, I'm a finance yes. person. Yes. I have to ask you, yes. inflation. Yes. If I leave my money somewhere with Shiwashi, yes. inflation in a fine yeah, 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 yeah. and the value of my yes. savings or my investments yes. could actually be devalued by yes. inflation. Yes. Now I'm 29 right now. Yes. I take a cover for life. Yes. Is the payout impacted by inflation? Yeah, so you see now with life, as long as you've put that this is the sum assured I want to be paid out, is that is what you're going to be paid out. Mm. So when you're calculating the sum assured, mm. put into consideration inflation. Ah. You understand? We'll calculate it based on now, like your needs and now inflation so we always just add like a, a small cap percentage yeah. yeah yeah because again as i said with inflation you have to make sure that you cater for that and the thing is that with the life cover you have to remember yeah if you the, your family eventually receives maybe this 20 million mm. you put it also now in a low risk investment mm. so that the money also continues growing at that mm. time yeah mm. so when you're calculating the amount of money that has to be paid out yeah. put into consideration inflation. inflation so there's a way we usually calculate the easiest way is we're like okay no take 10 times your whatever but to me that's not usually the best way mm. you know the way people are like 50 30 20 row yeah okay that's usually just to start off mm. even with insurance say 10 to 15 times your income ah, okay. but now sometimes you can we'll have to do the calculation do you have loans? Yeah. Do you have um you at, you, okay, you have young kids, you know, because people different stages require different levels of protection. If yeah. right now I have a three year old, it's not the same as if I have like a fifteen year old. That's true. The, yeah. So the the amount of money that is required for protection might be different. And then also that's why I say when you're also having your protection, make sure you're also accumulating on the side. Yeah. Because the thing is that the more you accumulate the later on in life the need for protection reduces yeah you see because at that time yeah. you said your children are grown maybe they're, they're even the ones yeah. who are now giving exactly. you money you you've mentioned that. something about succession yes so i have money markets yes. i have bonds i have pensions mm -hmm. and i've put uh, my husband my children yes. Yes. as beneficiaries mm -hmm. or my wife and my children mm -hmm. as beneficiaries mm -hmm. Do this, forget the life insurance, do these investments mm -hmm. have to go through succession? Is it immediate yes. yeah. um, that, oh, I have the death certificate, yeah. this person yeah. wrote me here as a beneficiary. Yes. Uh, do they get it immediately or does it actually have to so, go through a process? So the one which I know someone can get me, like also does not have to go through succession is also the pension. Mm. Pension does not have. That's why I always say, please consolidate we can also do we also help families consolidate their pensions if you've been moving from one company to another yeah. so pension does not go through it i mm. mean i want to find banks for sure by the way that one you have to go through succession. i know that much. that one that one that you have much. to success like you know yeah there's yeah. two million in this yes, account but you can't access i am clearly written as a beneficiary and here's the death certificate no, but it it's not automatic it's not automatic which is why life yes. is important life as is a so, as yes. a as like it's like a safety net yeah it's a safety net this one you'll get immediately yeah as, as you as you guys yes. and the court yeah. decide and then also you have money for a lawyer i mean the worst thing is when you have Ooh. And illegal. forgotten we paid yes, those ones exactly. too. Exactly. <laughs> because you know what? Kenyans, they love land. Wait, 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 wait. They love land. So all your assets are in land. You want my subscribers <laughs> to beat you? <laughs> Let's just talk about it. People, My subscribers yeah, will come for you. They, they love, love land. land. <laughs> Even I, I, I enjoy my land. But the thing is that when you've tied all your assets to land with absolutely no wow. liquidity, that time when you need that lawyer, first of all, as I said, number one, it has to go through succession. And number two, to sell that land, 
You know the hierarchy. It, takes, the it, it can yeah. even take you a year, a year yeah. plus a year to plus. sell a piece exactly. of land. And yeah. imagine now these children need to go to school. Yeah. You probably have uh, yeah. areas in, yeah. and, and, and I've seen so many people yes. with pieces of land yes. have to take a lot of pieces of land. Mm -hmm. I mean, millions worth of property yes. Yes. have to now take loans. Yeah, exactly. Because you cannot liquidate this no. asset as, as quickly as, as you wanted. need the exactly. money. Yeah. yeah. So those are the things people have to think about. Yeah, and. People are like, oh, you know, I don't know if it is Christian. You know, like I get that. I don't know if it's biblical. Mm. But I'm like, I feel like what is not biblical is letting your family suffer. I mean, that Preach. is definitely not biblical. Yeah. Preach. And also, the thing is that God also says that, you know, leave a, a good man use an inheritance to his kids. Legacy. Kids. Yeah, leave it's a legacy. There's something, exactly. when I started talking to you and yeah. when I started like my financial journey, yeah. and I've shared with you guys, yeah. um, I came from poverty, mm -hmm. grew up in poverty, yeah. came into adulthood yeah. poor. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. See, yeah. we have to be yeah, honest. Yeah. So like for me, yeah. that's an area I'm yes. sensitive yeah. Yeah. about yeah. because yeah. I've just, for yes. the longest, like 80% of my yeah. life has yeah. been lack, yeah. lack, yes. lack, lack. Yeah. And, 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 and just now is when, you know, yeah. by, with starting this business, yeah. uh, leveraging on yeah. my skills, my yeah. training, etc. Yeah. just what you're doing yes. as well, yeah. I'm, I'm able to start seeing money yeah. coming in. Yes. And one of the reasons I don't like keep upgrading my mm. life, driving, yeah. maybe one day I'll drive yes. the BMWs, <laughs> but right now I'm not, I'm just yeah. trying to move from point yeah. A yes, to, to point, point B. B. Yeah, 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 um, yes. It's because, and there's this one thing I said, I did did not yes. come from money yes but my children mm -hmm. exactly will come from money exactly. and 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 this is why i love it when yeah. you you know you keep reminding me yes. these things yeah. because you know these are some of the things in africa yeah. we are so used to moving rather yes. transferring poverty from yeah. one generation Actually, to yeah. another that is true it's like it's inherited yeah. that's yes. why black tax is yeah. a thing it's very yeah, and, exactly. and i was like I've, I've, i'm paying black tax yes I, and I'm complaining about exactly. it, but yeah. what will be different yeah. with my children exactly. if I don't make different yeah. decisions right exactly. now? That yeah. is the thing, actually. You know, this is why I say, even for our generation, it's the time to change the trajectory of our family story. Sure. Because this is how it's been, but it doesn't have to continue that way. That's true. We can make a decision right now to move in a different direction because we've seen that this thing has not been helping. Yeah. We still see people fighting over pieces of land. Mm. We still see people having like a lot of now issues around communication because of property or things. Maybe people could just have had a simple yeah. conversation or put up a, a proper plan. Mm. Yeah. But then now, right now, you are, we have, you have people like me and Susan having yeah. these conversations. I know. Yeah. So it means that now you have that knowledge so yeah. you can move in a different you can choose a different pattern for your family sure. it does not have to continue going like that I love it yeah. so I love it. even um, even for me as I'm planning I'm just like you know what I do not mind leaving wealth because I don't want them to start from scratch they give them like, a competing yeah, exactly. edge yeah oh. because you know people who uh, the thing is that people think money sports people but it's children but it doesn't it's mm. uh, what are the values you're instilling mm. i believe in passing down both the values and the wealth because mm. let's say yes you've passed down the values and your daughter does not have money that's when now she has to go and meet someone to go and provide for her you know those are the things i can't even imagine yeah so i rather now pass down both the values and, and the, the wealth. wealth yeah because again if you pass the wealth without the values also the wealth will be squandered exactly so it has to be a good combination of both but it all starts with us as individuals yeah yeah we have to be like okay within our families or within ourselves what is the thing that is not working and what is the now new you know blueprint and way things. of doing things that yeah. i want so i'm like you know what i want my kids to thrive mm. so the people who come to me like me i want my kids to suffer so that they can learn i'm like since when did suffer but then we were so attached <laughs> to suffering until i'm just like ah pana you know you know, know, I want my, children you know to my suffer, partner so me, I, my I, partner I like, and they keep yeah. again <laughs> We keep arguing about that. I don't know why men believe. Yeah. You guys can let me know in the co in the comment section. Yeah. He keeps telling yeah. me, "You, you, sp we can spoil the girls. Yes, yes. Those yes. ones out in my eye, we can yes. spoil them. But you know, the boys, yeah. they need to be hard. Yeah. They need. I'm like, yeah. no, please yes. don't do yes. that to my boys because. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and I think I think it's trauma responses. Yes, it's yeah, it um, but definitely we need to do better. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my God, yes, we can go on and I on. Know. I know. And yes. I want us to wrap this yes. up. Yes you are a protection uh, specialist, yes. right? Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure guys have been listening to this conversation and they're like, yeah, you guys sound good, but where do we get this information? Yes. Where do we, What if I already have insurance uh, products mm. yeah. that I've already bought and I'm investing uh -huh. in? How do I know that I'm protected, etc.? Mm. Um, maybe as we wrap up, Miriam, yes. Yes. please tell us 
how these people can reach you yes. what are some of the services you yes. offer yeah um yeah okay and, and, and we're gonna call it a day but oh, i yeah. need you back i know we need a part two right <laughs> yeah. i don't even think we've covered everything we wanted to cover yeah but number one um the first thing we do we help as i said we help people come up with protection plans so one of the services we offer is you know we sit down with you to actually come up with that plan because we have to be able to see what amount and we have to also do everything according in order of you know priority because mm -hmm. there's so many needs but then now we'll be like based on your family dynamics because we're all different there's blended families yeah. there's single parent families traditional families so based on your family what how can we actually put this protection plan so first of all yes we do also help people now um set up their covers so that means life insurance um even money markets for the emergency fund we help with pension because pension also protects you know you outliving your income so that's also part of a protection plan mm -hmm. yeah and then we can also have now these conversations also of estate planning but now that one is a bit more advanced so first of all we can help you set up a protection plan secondly we also help clients with now succession planning inheritance planning and estate planning yeah especially now mostly older clients so there are those who are more interested but if you want to start it early yeah. why not and then thirdly um, we have uh, something called build your own benefits, especially now if you are working for yourself or you don't feel like what you have at work is enough. So we will have that conversation with you. We go, we can go through what it is you currently have at work and we'll tell you these are the gaps. Yeah. And number four, we also do insurance reviews. Yeah. So insurance reviews because you know you could have you know the endowment policies, education you could have policies. Already mind. You already exactly. <laughs> so we can do an analysis and tell you what is the best way forward. Can okay if it's been that before it's less than that days can be like you can just cancel it. Or if you've had it for some time, can be like we can come up with a strategy on how you cannot you don't have to lose all your money mm -hmm. and how you can get us. So first of all, you can find us on all the social media channels. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. Twitter, you know, ev LinkedIn everywhere at Le Risk Africa. Yeah, um, Susan will put the link down here below. And secondly, you can also email us, you know, at you can email me personally at mnindo at leriskafrica.com. We'll also put down um, the email address down here. And then also, you know, you, you can also go to our LinkedIn bio if you want a specific service. We have already put in there like different forms. So if you want a life cover, you, so you want to start your life insurance journey, your me medical planning journey, just go to our LinkedIn bio or also Susan is going to put the link here and then you can get started in your journey because always remember life comes in seasons. There's good seasons and seasons which are not so good. So you want to make sure that even when seasons are not so good, you do not want to start afresh. And even at that time, you have enough finances to be able to now be able to bounce back. Because as you said, unless you're living in a perfect world and your life, you've never gone through any disruption in your life, which I don't think is possible. But I always say just always have a plan in place. Just the way in, when it comes to businesses, they have a risk management strategy. Have a risk management strategy for your own life, for your family's life. And personal risk is super, super important because as we say, if there's something that can keep you brand, but it's not yet necessarily the market's crashing. Mm. Yeah, it can be an illness, a family life. member dying, yeah. just life happening. Mm. So we can help you have those conversations because that's one thing we do differently. We just don't sell your product. You know, sometimes people are just like, oh, I just want this. one. we don't do that. We actually have to have a conversation, understand your family dynamics and give you something depending on your needs. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite part yeah. of your services. Yes. The advisory <laughs> bit yes. and yeah. how you, you i mean I, I just came to you i wasn't even like <laughs> yes. asked for money yes. like you're just like okay what are you looking yes. for etc yes. so i do know that you charge for the yes. um for the insurance reviews mm -hmm. but what if i i don't have a, a policy yeah. it's not being reviewed i I, mean, yeah. I just want to yeah. talk to you about the protection yes. uh you know how we can protect yes what are the charges for that so now if someone just wants a plan like literally just want a life cover that one we do not charge you just so i just come no yeah you just come just <laughs> Go to our link in bio, please. And book a and session yeah, with you. Yeah, so you have to first of all fill in the form. Okay. And then based on what it is we see on the form, now we can have a conversation. All right. Because and now, I don't pay for that? 
No, that one, by the way, that one is free, girl. girl guys, we I told you. <laughs> <protected. laughs> I told you I got you. Right? This is why we took so long to come yes. on here. Because <laughs> this baby is amazing and she's yeah. so hard to reach. Yeah. But please, if you're interested, yeah. if this conversation has... I know we've been here one hour, but it's I the know. most worth it yeah. one hour. Um, yes. Please reach out to her, yeah. okay? And, and and I'm going to be putting yes. all the, the emails, yes. her Instagram... Mm -hmm. um, all her socials yes. and the website yes. will be linked in the description yes. box and you can actually reach out to her yes. and have that conversation. Yes. Han, I'm so yeah. thankful yeah. Same. that you agreed to come <laughs> onto my channel and talk to yes. my YouTube community yes. about this. Yeah. Thank you for the work you do. Thank you. Thank you for protecting Kenyan yes. families, yes. African families, yes. and most importantly, thank you so much for sharing your yeah. story and living yes. so boldly. Yes. Um, I really wish you yeah. all the best. Thank you so much. And thank I mean, and, and, and I can't wait to have you on here. There yes. are so many things we've not talked about, like how to choose medical covers, yes. ETC. Oh, so you guys let us know yes. in the um, comment section down below yes. if you'd love to see yes. more of Marian and what kind of insurance conversations yeah. you'd want us to have. Otherwise, yes. I want to thank you so much if yeah. you've stuck up until this point <laughs> use a real one yes. because we've been here for a while so yeah. thank you so so much remember to leave your questions in the comment box marian will actually yeah. be answering yeah. them um and i look forward to yes. seeing you on the next episode of finance friday thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day or yeah. evening thank you.